Hey you guys, we are in Hannibal, Missouri. And uh, we got another wow here. So some of you might have heard the legend about Lover's Leap, but they're saying that the story, there's some variations to it, but basically the same thing um, that happens. If there was an Indian princess that was in one tribe and a warrior from a different tribe, and they were two warring tribes, they did not get along, and these two young people were in love, um, but were not allowed to be together. And I guess one night when the warrior was in his canoe he came to meet the princess they were walking along and then someone from the princess's tribe saw this and told her father which was also the chief of the tribe so he um, told his anyone any of those warriors in his tribe for one otter pelt and you will receive one one otter pelt if you kill this warrior from the opposing tribe so the two young people um, were running from the, uh, the people chasing them, from the warriors chasing them, had run up to this point here. And knowing that they were kind of cornered and that the um, young warrior was going to die no matter what, uh, the legend says that they embraced each other and jumped off of this cliff here and to their deaths so they can always be together because life would be better with him in afterlife than it would be now or you know then without him so that is the legend of lover's leap and pretty interesting too sorry another interesting as we're walking around up here we see all these locks over here on the yeah it looks like it's initials and hearts of people probably t, t plus d three thirteen twenty one a plus T. This is uh, nine six twenty one. So that was pretty recent. And when I bet you so these have been cut off many times. These all look a little more recent too. Mm -hmm. So lovers. I don't think they jumped. Nope. But I think they just came up here to secure, just to tie their love. Yep. More coming from Hannibal. Okay, yeah, that lover's leap was crazy. Uh, thought we'd show you our our, uh, our new campsite here, and uh, we're at Dupont Conservation Recreation Area. It's it's a free free campground. You know, so I'll walk around there here. Um, we got to watch our budget. Been been uh, been busting the budget a little bit here. Uh, so yeah, here's here's the campsite. Oh yeah, there's no there's no power in a, uh, or or water here, so we got the generator hooked up. The first night we got here, it was like 92 degrees and 90 percent humidity, so we cranked that up. Um, I think we've got the best campsite in the park. It looks like there's maybe 16, 18 campsites. Mississippi, of course. Oh glory. I think right when we got here, we were the only ones here on Tuesday. But now there's like, this is Thursday, there's like four, three, four or five other ones down there. Somebody was kind enough to hang a rope swing, which I uh, haven't, haven't uh, done that yet. And nothing behind us. Working on a fire tonight. Here's a there was a couple of soggy hay bales here when we got here, just moldy and soggy. So we've been we've been burning those. Get get rid of them. I don't I can't believe they're in here. What's that noise I hear? Oh yes, we have a a barge. Here, let me come, let me come down here. I hope you guys liked that vid, uh, a few videos ago, the uh, lock and dam. There's actually a lock number 22, which is like around the bin up there. 
and uh, so he must he must have just came through there. Yeah, he's only yet. What is it? Oh, that that's not even. Uh, that's different kinds of barges. But uh, as compared to the other one, they it looks like about the size of six rather than fifteen. The fifteen would be clear out to here, like nine more on the front of that. So this is. Oh, break my ankle again. They, they are relatively quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. And it's a lot closer when the water appears on the GoPro. Very cool. Down, down there, beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This is looking east, so we're we're, we're just having our little happy hour out out here watching the traffic. And a pleasure boat. Oh, he's waving at me. And there's a pontoon. We get all, uh, looks like they got a couple of fishing rods off the back there. So yeah, this, this is a great spot. Yeah, so this site is, uh, it's about 17 miles south of uh, Hannibal on, uh, on Highway 79. Really curvy, beautiful road. Part of it goes along the, on the river also. Um, and tomorrow we're going to go in and do a couple things. Uh, we're going to try and get the, a riverboat ride. And uh, we're, we're going to show you Mark Twain's, Mark Twain's boyhood home and, uh, and kind of that whole thing down, downtown there. It's huge. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know Hannibal's huge, huge Mark Twain. So uh, anyway, we're doing a little supper tonight, a little simple supper. Corn on the cob and some chicken legs. And they're just about done. So see you tomorrow on Hannibal. Okay, we are going on a riverboat. Right there. Yeah. We're going back here? Or? Yeah. Let me, I'm going to go check out the front too. Chairs up front too. Oh, you want to do that? Um, we can always move around too. Okay, well, let's start up there. Okay, the captain has arrived, and uh, and uh, felt him start it up. Here comes little tug coming in here, Sir Robert. This one's Sir Richard. We saw him leave a little bit ago. Must, must have went, went and tugged or pushed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as the captain promised, it's time to blow our departure signal. So if you're outside, especially for the pilot house, now is a good time to cover your ears. <laughs> Okay, that means we're on the way.
Pretty cool. You got some kind of thrusters or something, huh? No? No. stuff. Oh, you'll feel much better. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the boat that you're riding on today. The Mark Twain was built in 1964 at the Dubuque Boiler and Boat Works in Dubuque, Iowa. It was christened the Huck Finn and taken south to New Orleans, where it ran as an excursion boat for the Strata Steamers Company. In 1982, the Mark Twain Riverboat Company purchased the vessel, and we brought it to Hannibal. This boat measures 120 feet long, 33 feet wide. It is documented at 94 gross tons. And when fully loaded, it draws or sits in the water six feet at the stern. We are inspected annually by the United States Coast Guard and licensed to carry 350 passengers. We're powered by a pair of Detroit diesel engines. These are eight cylinder diesel. Each engine has a horsepower of 300. Each engine has a three to one reduction gear and each engine turns a 40 inch prop. Each turn of the prop pushes about 30 inches of water, giving us a top speed of 12 mile an hour if we're headed downstream, we're empty, and we have the best time. Oh yeah, cool. Look at this. Yeah, they do dinner cruises on here and uh, you can see they have live music. Um, there's a bar back here. What did you think of that? Pretty cool. That ride was just so neat. Just yeah. beautiful, peaceful. Warm day, having that breeze uh, out on the out on the river. That, that, that was that was that was great. Yeah. Uh, we want we, we we need to do a, a dinner cruise sometime. Have, have a couple beers on there. I would love to do a dinner cruise there. there. Yeah, yeah, the entertainment and stuff. Supposed to be pretty nice. Supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. But anyway, we've got uh, a little bit more to show you from Hannibal. Yeah, as you can tell, we have left the Hannibal area here, but we've got a lot of videos to edit, and uh, and uh, so we're doing our little wrap up here at this one, and we'll su we'll, we'll we'll surprise you with that later. But uh, anyway, love you guys, appreciate every single one of you. Uh, please hit that notification bell and share this with a like-minded person. Um, love you guys. We will see you again in a few days from Hannibal and a couple other things we're doing. Bye.
Bye.